I grew up with a lot of banned words from obscene language as a kid to certain words well into adulthood. My undergrad design program's head professor wouldn't allow anyone to say create in his studio. His argument was that unless you are literally God, you can't create anything. You simply manipulate, rearrange, or alter pre-existing materials and assets. Looking back, that one may have been a little pedantic, but the words on which I still to this day maintain a personal ban are better and best. On a basic vocabulary level, it's sort of like that iconic very ban from Dead Poets Society. A man is not very tired, he is exhausted. He isn't very sad, he's morose. But vocabulary aside, eliminating better and best helps me communicate intentionally with respect to the wide spectrum of priorities. Instead of saying, this is the best cheeseburger recipe, I'd have to call it the most affordable, the juiciest, the burger that's fastest to cook or easiest to cook. It's a challenge to describe things with purpose. I figure if this self-imposed ban has played such a pivotal role in the videos that I make, there might be a chance that you would benefit from knowing about it. So is this freakish behavior or do you also prohibit yourself from using any words?